we're live. Hi. Good morning. My name is Ruben Martinez. I'm here with Sergio Ortega. Vicente Ortega. Vicente, Vicente Ortega. Yes, and he played Jason in Paul the Last Apostle. Again, thank you for your time. Thank, thank for you for doing this. Thank you. I'm really excited to hear what, you, what your viewpoint is and how you, you came across. So first and foremost, uh, you came you came into the project different than everybody else. Yeah. So what was your step when you when you first heard about it or how did that go across? Well, I can't thank the industry enough. Uh, networking is one of the best things you can do in any industry. Um, shout out to my best friend in this industry, Gabriel Carmona. Um, he personally reached out to me and said, hey, you're doing this. It wasn't even like audition. It was like, you're doing this, show up, et cetera, et cetera. Nothing was guaranteed, but I, I went in there. Um, I remember my fiance and I were driving up to um, a local hamburger joint. So we're literally driving and uh, the first call happened. I don't even know what it was. I was just, okay, you got to be on this Zoom call. So I showed up and she's, you know, in the shotgun seat and we're kind of in between ordering food and we're going through it. And um, by the end of the call, I was like, I think I got the part. <laughs> she's like, I thought you were auditioning. I was like, I thought I was an audition too, but no, I think we just got selected. So I reached out to Carmona afterwards and I said, wow, man, thank you. Thank you. And it's, um, you know, you work on one project and it leads to the next and just do your best. Do your best. And Gabriel Carmona is Silas in Paul Last Apostle as well. And you came across very professional uh, when, when you were doing it. It was actually a table read and pretty much you, we just didn't know where to put you because we knew how great you were. <laughs> I think we were reading different parts, you're right. I think yeah. I was just like, read this and read that and kind of thing. And I, I didn't know anything about the accent or I was just like, okay, I'll just play the role. And I was trying to do different accents and different uh, characters with different uh, different lines. And hopefully I did, obviously I did well. I think I did well and impressed you guys. So thank you again for the opportunity. And you were in your car too, weren't you? I, I was, so I mean, I don't know how good the, 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 the video was. And um, so from there. I think I have footage of that. We might see that in this clip as well. The raw. But yes. So now you, you, you got this part and now you're, you're we're told, okay, you're going to go to this small little town called Poolville, Texas. Have you ever heard of Poolville? I have not. I've, I've heard of Weatherford. I've uh, been in that area, but I've nothing north of that. So I had to Google it. And as soon as I saw Weatherford, I was like, oh, okay. okay. It's still in the area. It's a beautiful area. If you guys ever come out there, especially if you're in DFW, Go west. Go west to Fort Worth. It's beautiful out there. So you're driving to Poolville, middle of nowhere. What, what were you thinking? Okay, what did I get myself into? Or is this really working? Or is this somebody's backyard? What were you thinking? You know what? I When I left Dallas um, that evening, I was just so open to it. I mean, I, I love the city, but I love driving out of the city. It just kind of just grounds you a little bit more. And getting into that area, the Weatherford Poolville area, you see a lot of acreage, a lot of green, a lot of winding roads. And I think it was a perfect scenario where you're leaving one one paradigm and you're actually shifting to the next. And I think it just reset me. Um, it took me to the unknown. And sometimes not preparing for things kind of helps you out too. So you get there and you just kind of absorb everything as it, as it comes. And then you're driving into this, uh, uh, this, this location. And uh, I could have studied, you know, that's where The Chosen was filmed and I could have studied all this, but it was just, you know, just walking there. I parked, followed the directions, I showed up. And as I was waiting for the crew to be ready for me, I walked the location and it just felt, it felt normal. It felt, it felt like I was meant to be there. Nice. And you were, again, uh, and Sergio plays Jason. Uh, Jason is a, so did you know anything about Jason? Uh, Unfortunately, no. I'm not going okay. to say, I'm not going <laughs> to be good. one of those characters, those, those individuals. It's like, yeah, I studied everything about him. I, I kind of looked for, I looked him up on, on Google and there's really, I, maybe I did the wrong the search, but I really couldn't find anything about him. Yeah. And, uh, and again, maybe it was just operator error, but I could not find anything about him. Everything else about Paul and obviously Jesus and the other 12 disciples were there. I mean, but Jason is a character that I really, I'm studying. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I should use the word creating, but I'm going along with it and with your direction. Um, if, if I could kind of jump in forth, I mean, reading, doing the read, the raw read, the table read, and then practicing the lines. It's not the same until you get there and you put on the costume and you're in that persona yeah. and then you have the direction from you and everybody else. It's like, all right, great. It sounded great on Zoom, 
this is the way I want it. And you just, yeah. we just kept on going over and we just kept on fine tuning it over and over again. I haven't seen the, the, the footage of it, but if you say, if you're, if you're impressed as a director, <laughs> I mean, you were there and you saw it on the screen and, and if you're impressed, can't wait for you guys to see it. <laughs> and just so you know, I'm not—I was not the director. So Ru Ruthie Grumbine is the director. Okay. But but definitely, I, I was helping as well. Yes. Yes. But uh, so you're right. Being being in that situation now with the scene, you're you're literally walking into Capernaum. Yeah. Uh, and Jason is not a very well known character in the Bible. He's actually I don't even know him. <laughs> not many people know him. He he he's someone from Thessalonica that was helping Paul. That's all we know about him. So it's interesting that even though he was so, didn't know about, that's kind of how you, you played it. Like you, you, so we didn't know more. So you actually introduced us to who Jason was. Okay. Uh, you guys, it's when you see that the film, the very second scene, right and right after the opening scene is the Sergio scene and it will grip you. It'll bring you in and, and because of the, what you brought to, the, to that show and, and, and to see that intensity that was going on between him and Paul, between him and his wife, uh, Jason's wife. Again, not much mentioned about her, but the actress who played Jason's wife, amazing. She was pregnant, and so it added a whole different level. Did you know that? Did you when you were there? Did you see Lydia? I, I haven't. I haven't. Prior to that scene, I had not worked with her. It was the first time that I met her. Um, of course, she she mentioned she was pregnant. You know where we're waiting, and uh, <laughs> it, it, it definitely it definitely gave more of a, a personal touch to her character and to the whole episode. Sorry, to the whole scene of of, of, of that episode. Um, she performed above and beyond, impresses all, and uh, if, if I can say a little bit behind the sure, scenes. Sure. People that don't know about film, we do this over and over and over again until we get that shot that you're eventually going to see behind the scenes. And she kept on getting better and better and better and yes. better being pregnant, emotional. So we were kind of like, is this too much? Is this too little? Is this too? She's like, I got this. And uh, shout out to you. You did amazing. So what did you think where we now have the scene and now people are coming in with torches and they're I think I think my direction with you is we're just gonna yank you out of there. We'll yeah, pull you, yeah. and you're like, "Are you sure?" Because <laughs> again, it's, it's it's a pretty intense scene. Where you, I mean, you geared yourself. You, I mean, it looks very realistic. and 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 that's what I tell my coworkers and anything they would do in, in any scenes and any uh, projects that I do is be as be as real as possible. Um, you know, I'm I'm in my 40s. I've lived my life and. Uh, I also judge movies when I see them and I see how fake sometimes they are and I see how delicate some actors are. So working with Joshua, right? Yeah. Uh, the, the, the actor who's yanking me out, I said, I mean, this guy is a huge dude. I said, don't, don't, don't be soft, grab me, grab me, do whatever you gotta do. And, and we kind of practice the roles. Obviously it's gonna be safe, right? Cause we're doing it over and again. And um, so he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, do it. And uh, so we had that mutual respect and, you know, that agreement. And uh, sure enough, it was, we did it once and everybody was impressed. I'm like, can you guys do it again? And it was, you know, kind of getting uh, uh, just, again, fine tuning everything. But yeah, I, I like to be as real as possible. So, I mean, without getting hurt, of course, right? But it's like, um, you have that mutual respect and you, you kind of push each other, right? With the, when you're yelling at somebody, whether you're getting somebody seen, you know, close to their face or, you're grabbing him by the shirt. It's like grab something. People want to see that that passion, that drama behind everything. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's we all help each other and very supportive in that in that in that scene. So you had a lot of great crew and cast members. You mentioned we a did. Few here. We did. We did. Other than me, obviously, I'm number one. Who would be your your next best person or people that you that you enjoy meeting that way? Jason's wife. She. I, 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 I think. I think she's. Uh, I'll, I'll give her the the, the the Oscar for that one. Uh, no, she did above. Uh, uh, she went above and beyond, and uh, I think because of her, uh, that scene, that episode, uh, went above and beyond. So I would give her the. Yes. Wow. I would give her the crown. Lydia, great job. She did. She did. And she, she knows she did. She's a talented actress. So, do you have any uh, fond memories? Uh, again, we, we one thing we've heard consistently has been that week was just perfect it was peaceful we didn't have any issues they, everyone told me how much they love that week was there anything that stuck out to you or was or did you not like that week? i don't want, i don't want to preface it by 
everyone liked it because if you didn't like it, it's okay. No, I did. I did. Overall, it was great. It was a great experience. Um, um, I had some personal issues that weekend as well. But um, again, as an actor, you leave everything outside of the set. And uh, as soon as you get out of set, you get back into that regular role of yours, whoever you are. Um, it was cold that night, too. It was cold. And if you see our wardrobe, we were not worrying much. And uh, But the crew's, you know, it's the crew's concerned about us. We had black kids. We had everything we were taking care of. But I don't know if it was fun, but post, post-mortem, post <laughs> if I can say it that way, you know, um, we made it fun. Yeah. That's what made it fun. So um, if most of you don't know, I was a, a former military. And um, I won't use certain words, military jargon words, but it's like <laughs> the uncomfortable. And when you're hanging out with your buddies, with your, with your um, sailors or, or soldiers or whatever, and you're in that grunt area that doing the grunt stuff um it's not fun but you make it fun uh, to keep yourself motivated to you're looking out for somebody else and it's kind of the same scenario when you're on set especially i mean it was it was cold i don't know how what day it was but it was like in the 40s it was pretty cold yeah. it was in the 40s it was in the 40s and uh the wind was kind of blowing too so the wind chill was there but after all after everything was done and and and, and seeing and hearing how proud you guys were are are of the uh of, of how the film came out or that episode came out it was worth it, it was worth it yeah and we had 74 extras that helped out and they were in the same scene after said got pulled out uh they were in that cold day and it was a early morning as well it was a lot of, our, a lot of our overnight yeah and one thing I, I was very impressed with is that even we, we were Throwing blankets on you, throwing a coat, you know, but you were concerned about the other background there as well, which I saw that you're like, would you, they would have to have a blanket as well. And I love that, you know, you, even you deal with a lot of actors, I deal with a lot of actors and typically they only want to care about themselves. Well, this actor here, Sergio, did not. He was more concerned about other people, which again, owes to his character as well. And it stays true with who he was, even as he portrayed Jason, he was being again a, a, a welcome character to other people around him yeah so again thanks for that too no it's it's good to take care of others and i got a little i got a little tear and i'm holding my my expression but it's like no it's 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 again the the something you're taught in the military it's to take care of others you know uh, we used to have this saying and we still do it's uh, so others may live so you sacrifice yourself your comfort so other people can be comfortable and obviously move forward in life um, and it's the same thing i mean that's just the base of what i have the base of my fundamentals as a as a man as a person um, so yeah, I'm concerned about others' uh, well-being, right? Their morale as well. So uh, in between, in between the takes, we're joking around, we're doing things, and and it's like we're getting out of hand, and you guys are getting ready. It's like all right, quiet outside. We're like okay. <laughs> so, but it, you, I mean, it's cold. You gotta you gotta have to increase the morale as when you're uncomfortable. And very early <laughs> again, I was yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I mean, I was I was there. I was there. I think it was Saturday. It's probably Saturday night, I believe. It's Saturday night. You guys have been there a few days already. Uh, since since uh, Monday. So yeah, you're almost at the end of the thing. So your patience was probably less than mine. I mean, I was kind of fresh, fresh that week, and um, so I can just imagine how you guys felt and how professional you guys kept it still. So cool. Well, do you have anything else to say to your millions of viewers out there that are watching this? Anything? Any passwords? Anything? Anything you want to say? Just like I said before, I mean, we we do this to entertain you, and hopefully, this perspective, this this Paul the Last Apostle, and every other character that we play, uh, it opens your eyes a little bit more, like it did to me. I'm playing this character, and I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Um, you can read the Bible, you can watch old movies, um, but I believe what people are doing now in this industry is giving you a better perspective. As raw as possible, but I understand like what we're doing is is a whole. It's different from what I've seen from other Christian shows that I've seen and other Christian movies that have portrayed uh, uh, the life as Christians and, and, and the life of Jesus and the apostles and disciples, etc. So I appreciate the way we're we're producing this now, and it, and it gives me. And again, I keep on using the word appreciate. Uh, I love it. I love it. As an actor, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying seeing it, and I have yet to see it on the screen. Oh, he'll see it. <laughs> so, I've seen the replays, and typically what I do is, you know, with my craft is 
we see something and they have a screen sometimes over the chair with us and they do the replay. So the directors and the assistant directors see it and the producers are there kind of seeing the replay and they're like, you can see their faces when they, when they get that shot and you, that's what you go based off. Right. And, uh, my love language and I was out tell it out loud it's it's words of affirmation so direction whether it's positive criticism or negative criticism again everything that i do whether it's my nine to five job my w2 or as an actor i like to have people's opinions and say hey do this can you do that and they just i mean they're they're pouring their heart into you so accept it and just go with it and and again going back to you what you said hope you guys enjoy it as much as we're enjoying it making it for you Thanks again, Sergio. No, thank you for the opportunity. Thank again, you. Sergio Vincent Ortega. He plays Jason in Paul the Last Apostle.